guys today i just want to uh, quickly update the channel and do a short review of the uh, high fineman edition x now onto the edition x uh these are a set of headphones that i got uh, pretty recently i got it like four months ago well four months ago isn't really recently by modern day standards but you know i digress because four months for me is still a pretty short span of time for me so yeah let's dig into it so first up, we're going to take a look at the uh, the comfort of these headphones. Now, the headphones, at least for me, are pretty darn comfortable. Now, these are by no means light. If I do recall right, they're around uh, 400 grams. So they're definitely on the heavy side of, you know, in the, in the headphone game. But all things considered, they're pretty comfortable. As long as you can, uh, you can stand the weight these do a very good job of distributing weight evenly on your head and i personally think that uh, this style of headband that high fi man came up with is one of if not the best uh headband currently on the market not just to planar magnetic headphones but to any headphones because they do such a good job just distributing the weight evenly uh, across your head now the the pad well this one is super soft so you know whenever I put the headphone on I can feel the way I mean you get the sense of the way but it does a pretty good job distributing the weight. so yeah comfort wise they are pretty darn great now um, looks wise I think they look pretty pretty good to say the least now uh, I used to have the hi fi man Ananda and it is supposedly an updated version of the uh, edition XV2 I do not exactly like how the Ananda sounds because to me the Ananda sounds a little bit too uh, too analytical and you know the Ananda actually has two versions the first version is the version that they came up with when they first sold those they have uh, metal mash just like the one on the edition X as you can see uh, I'm holding the Edition X right here and it has metal mesh and you can see right inside the driver. However, later on somewhere in 2020, they revised uh, the metal mesh and they got rid of the mesh. So they got some sort of cloth covering and um, now the uh, covering is black. So you can't really see the driver uh, when you peek inside the headphone. So yeah, that's the thing. And also with the Ananda, I feel like uh, yeah, like I said, it's just too analytical for me, and that's really not my cup of tea. As for the Edition X, though, I I actually feel that they are pretty different to the Ananda in many ways. So first up, some people say that the Ananda is an upgrade, and personally, I do not really think they're an upgrade, because if you have the Edition X and you like it, you like it not because they have the best uh, resolution on the market, not because... They offer the most impact in the bass or travel or, you know, bite or any sort of technicalities, but because they really have the classic high fi man tuning. And by classic, I don't mean the HE line, like the HE500 or HE6. No, they're the old high fi man line, and these belong to the HE1000 line. And they have that sort of tuning where you can really just relax and this is the perfect headphone if you want to just chill and relax and you want to spend you know the afternoon sipping tea and go go read a book or something and you put these on your head and you feel that it's such a luxurious experience because um, everything on these just sound very inoffensive and it's not uh, in a bad way so whenever some people talk about inoffensive sounding cans they usually mean that the can sounds boring but not with the Edition X. The Edition X, everything on it sounds good. The highs, it doesn't really have the last bit of shimmer that you would expect from a, uh, from a good, well, from a, yeah, maybe good is the word, from the good pair of headphones, but they're super relaxing to listen to. They have all the extension, uh, all the way from travel down to bass. The extension is there, but they don't overemphasize it. Now, you can argue that uh, the earlier hi fi man line, the HE500 and HE6, don't really overemphasize it either, but you can really feel the impact on those headphones, and those headphones really demand your attention. They're not the kind of headphones that you can put on and do other things at the same time, no. But with the Edition X, you can, because the sound as a whole is just super relaxing. And I feel that this is one of their biggest selling points, because this is not 
the last word in detail, but it is a headphone that you can wear for like four to five hours, whether the comfort or the sound signature is just comfortable. And this is the word that I would use to describe this headphone. So for the sound stage, they present a moderately wide sound stage. And I think this is one of the uh, differentiators between these and the uh, Hi Feynman HE1000. The HE1000 has a much bigger sound stage. I used to have the uh, HE1000 version 1, not the version 2 though, the version 1. And everything sounds much more refined on the HE1000. So personally, I do not think it's a small difference. The difference is, uh, I wouldn't say it's super significant, but definitely not a small difference. It's like a supercharged Edition X, and the Edition X is like a miniature version of the HE1000. So as for uh, dynamics, like microdynamics and macrodynamics, they are just all right. They're nowhere as punchy as hi fi Man's earlier headphones like the HE500 or the HE6. Those were much punchier, and if you want a more true-to-life sound, if you want a more exciting, more lively sound, you're better off with those instead. But this, this is super relaxing. And I can see myself uh, living with these for a long time to come. Now, uh, for the ear pads, the ear pads that these originally come with is terrible. They don't even last a whole year. Like, the original pad when I got these is already starting to flake. And the owner already replaced the ear pads two times. And he told me that every time he replaced the ear pads, well, it barely lasts a year before he has to replace them again. So, so there's that. So uh, the ear pads I replaced with is uh, a pair of uh, aftermarket pads, but structure-wise they look really similar to the original pads. And uh, the manufacturer told me that uh, they used to be the OEM ear pads manufacturer for Hi Fi Man. So, I mean, I took their words for it because the headband, uh, the the ear pads look pretty darn similar to the original one. Just that uh, the back portion is a little bit thicker and everything feels. A bit softer and nicer to the touch and I got them you know for really cheap and to my ears they do not affect the uh, frequency response at all because they call this an aftermarket ear pad but really it's not because you you look at the grooves and you look at the texture of these ear pads and the manufacturer are telling you that they are the OEM for high fi and I completely believe them because these are not like other OEM uh, sorry these are not like any other aftermarket pads they feel just like the original one and the softness is just like the original one so yeah i take their word for it so um overall i would say this is a very enjoyable headphone now uh i don't think it's going to be my only headphone because i frequently rotate between these the hi fi man he 500 the he 6 the he 6 se so those are my four main headphones but these are getting the most amount of head time because they're just such an inoffensive listen. Like whenever I want to listen to something and not, you know, go into super, uh, super thorough analysis mode, I just put these on and they always put a smile on my face. Now, one thing to look out for is that uh, with hi fi mans, you don't really want to open these up. Now, the first thing when I got these is that I want to open the headphones up and clean uh, some, of the, some of the stuff on the mesh because as you can see right here, the metal mesh is a bit dirty. So when I got inside the headphone, uh, there are two things that I noticed. First up, you cannot really clean the metal mesh, or rather you can't really take the metal mesh off if you want to clean it. Because, um, well, it's hard to put into words, but when you actually disassemble them, you'll see what I mean. Because the driver is a whole package. It's not like you can just take off the metal mesh without, uh, you know, without touching the interior of the driver. So, if you try opening up the driver, uh, opening up the headphone, you'll see that uh, you can remove the driver and the metal mesh sticks to the driver's surface. And in order to remove the metal mesh, you will have to uh, unscrew like eight or nine screws. And after that, you have to carefully pull it apart from the uh, from the magnets, which uh, is literally sucking these metal mesh in. It's extremely hard. So in the end, I gave up. And um, during the disassembly process, there's one thing I noticed, and it's that uh, the internal wires inside these headphones are really, really thin. Now, that can be a problem because sometimes um, when you see something, you just can't really unsee. And you see that the interior really isn't a nice sight. The interior wire, they're thin, 
they are very flexible though but they are extremely thin and you and you see the gauge of the wire is just very thin very low quality wires and i'm pretty sure if anyone is interested in swapping the internal wires out it will be a huge upgrade and also the connectors they're using i don't mean the the connectors on the cable side i mean the uh, the female connector on the headphone let me pull it off the female connector on the headphone when you uh when you open the headphones up you'll see the female connector is of super low quality i'm pretty sure there are several other you know choices of much higher quality that you can find on the market for one dollar or less just you know of all things they cheaped out on the internal wires and they cheaped out on the female connectors and i feel like if you can replace them with higher quality parts it's gonna bring a world of difference because personally after i see the internal wires and the connectors i feel you know after i see those i feel that i'm, I'm gonna sell these despite how good they sound because it's something that you can't unsee once you see once you see how shoddy the build quality is inside you just can't really unsee them and um, fortunately enough I quickly you know get past that and when I put these on my head I'm reminded again why these are such a great headphone but still the insides just completely suck it's uh I would say this hi fi man really knows how to tune headphones they really know how to make good headphones but they really cut corners like nobody else like like they cut corners like nobody else on the market and you see these planar manufacturers like gold planar like um are these and if you open these up well you just see the interior but for high finance when you open them up you'll be massively disappointed because everything is just so of so low quality so yeah i'll end my rant here and this is it for the somewhat sloppy edition x review so yeah i'll see you guys next time